Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, my next task was to restart history. Not beholden to past events, I was free to craft a new era. It was with humility and restraint that I approached this blank canvas. After careful preparation, I began work, painting over the darkness. After eons passed, I sketched out the realms. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. In my new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do will be their responsibility. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. is about to be rewarded for I have saved the best for last I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency it will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld this elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe it has Patreon flowers Margovian nectar powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon all this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is... Can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless! I'm sorry. You are... Someone fool enough to have believed you! My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... ...she was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? <laughs> it's nothing! Just Bourjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Blackwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you 
to make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. Good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <clears throat> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! Since when? You're on, Raiden. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch, critique our form. Best two out of three? Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. Fight! Come <laughs> on. 
must we go another round? We both know how this ends. Fight. <laughs> Day's coming, come now. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. You were hungry. <clears throat> oh, everything was delicious, Madame Beau. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madame Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madame Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madame Bo, is unfortunate. us you are in over your head we don't care who you are or who you are with you will not menace Madame Bo. fight <laughs> in over his head. This was you? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Three of you stand. 
How does he do that? I have no idea. You interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. Fight. <laughs> Crossing me. before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Fight! <laughs> Oh! 
Are you sure you're a grandmaster? Interesting. Hang Lao, over here! Madame Bo. She's out cold. Oh no, is she... Dead? Not yet. Madame Bo, how are you... Kung Lao. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire, and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Li Han, Kuai Liang. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earth Realm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earth Realm. Earth Realm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earth Realm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earth Realm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so.
Turn them off. And we're definitely getting warmer. How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. metal in the floor that's not just any metal it's liquid mercury shit that stuff's toxic fatal only step where I step huh? what did I say the explosives that's our bridge do this right it'll fall across No time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Physics for the win. Let's go. You don't 
need it. You're dead. Speaking of which, you just killed my best friend. And I'm not one to forgive and forget. Fight! Now where's that shield? I'm not yet defeated. Yes, you are. Time to go home. Caught! Printed! I knew it! Whew. I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Temple of Kataravala, take 39, tail slave. That's a wrap. Steven, this was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch. You know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films. Maybe a streaming series? Johnny, I don't have... You're right. Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marshall will call you. Great! Have your assistant call me. Well, that was great, Han. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny, we need to talk. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris. We're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from... Ugh, that's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Chris, come on, Chris, where are you going? Fuck!
How do you like that, Mr. A-list? Thank God. Ah, oh, Chris, honey, I... Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way you're Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Fight! Kenji Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Tyra for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family, to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption, reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me, they're your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but 
As pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Bihar, Kualiye, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh. Hey, you. Uh. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Fight! <laughs> You're insured because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile, you have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah, uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Quite Ang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang. Protector of Earthrealm. God of Fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives.
That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Ow! See? It won't be effective. Maybe it's too effective. Uh, we just need to get on with it. We've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My aunt's will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh... <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched. But Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully, because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. Ready for your close-up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. Fight! <laughs> Don't need stun doubles. Fight! Fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. 
It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! You still question my nerve. I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty. Not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight!
up. Like lightning. Fight! You won't strike twice. <laughs> There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Holy Ark of the Covenant. It is incredible, but is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course. Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please.
Shokan. The six armed beings are not Nadans. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> Our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. <laughs> Worry expends energy for no purpose, Rin. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shah. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang, in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory 
as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight! Thank you for the match, First Constable. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> in whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight. <laughs> have faced war, but I am a warrior.
felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name. But one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, I'm fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission... You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Realmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, Your Majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the Sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, General. Come. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. Was something I ate. Was it? 
I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Kitana will take your place. What? Uh, there are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just need a time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. <sighs> You continue to surprise, Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, Your Highness. I will win this fight. For her, my Empress, and all of Outworld. Fight! Fight well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Nabala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. Fight! <laughs> Fight! Yeah. Yeah. 
I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earthrealm wins. <clears throat> May I assist you? Stay away, Earthrealmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the Hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. <laughs> <laughs> 